often talked of, never seen, ever coming, never been. Now, when you hear me say the word been, that is kind of awkward for us. Of course, if we were crossing England or if we were in Canada, that wouldn't be nearly as awkward. But when we hear that word, it kind of sticks a little bit. We're like, whoa, hold on a second. For some of us, that makes us uncomfortable. On Sunday mornings, is how we dress, sometimes that makes us uncomfortable. When we see people that are supposed to be religious, that makes us uncomfortable. And yet, when we look at Jesus, is how he was dressed, what made people uncomfortable? And the answer is no. For some reason, when people looked at him, they looked at him from a worldly point of view. Why is it that he didn't wear robes? Why is it that he didn't wear certain colors? Why is it he didn't act the way that the Pharisees act? Well, the reason for that is because the Pharisees were putting down laws, they were putting down rules, they were sticking with traditions that had nothing to do with God. So what is it that we hold on to that have nothing to really do with God? What is it in your life that you hold on to that has nothing to do with God? We are in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 this week, and verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. When is the last time you looked at yourself as a new creation? Think about something that you would draw or something that you would write, and as that is finished, it becomes a new creation. But when we accepted Christ, we became a new creation. And yet we tend to hold on to things that we don't need to hold on to, or we tend to obsess about things that we don't need to obsess about. How we look on the outside, or how others perceive us on the outside. When God looks at us and He sees a new creation, it's what's on the inside that's important. Think about that, and we'll discuss this more tomorrow.